Okay, so now let's handle the error. So to do it, we just like we did in the login tab or login screen, even in the sign up page or screen, we added a try catch in here and we handled the error. In here, I will copy this line, paste it somewhere in here, and I will cut this line of code, which is also this only make make an error, so we need to wrap it by a try catch. So in here, let's initialize a try, and in here, let's say catch, and say error, paste this code in here, and now this code and the error. So let's restart our application again and give it a try. So here it is, there is no error occurred and everything is working fine. Now if there is an error, for sure the catch error will be called and the error will be displayed just like the sign up screen. Okay, now to show you if there's any error, so we can make an error by own. So let's delete this token and give an empty string instead of it. Let's restart our application again and give it a try. Let's try to log in. So here it is, here is the error method. And you can print it and here it is also. We can also try the access token also. Let's restart the application again and try to log in. Here is another error. And as you can see, it's about the access token. The first one was about the ID token and this one about the access token. Here it is. Now the ID token is being called. So everything is working fine. In the next step, we need to add or save extra data to the or about the user info to display it in here, such as the email or the phone number and the joint date. So stay tuned.